Before we get started on the actual video today, just wanted to address the tragic loss of Virgil Abloh. I know this hit everyone in a very shocking manner on Sunday, November 28th. And again, loss is never linear. It's never easy. It's never black and white. It's not straightforward. And people have a an entire roller coaster of emotion that they may be going through, whether it's his personal family and friends or those within the industry for fashion and, you know, streetwear and sneakers. We're all all processing this loss a little differently uh most importantly my condolences go out to his immediate family and friends you know before Virgil Abloh was ever you know head head in charge at uh, Louis Vuitton or a designer or an icon within sneakers and fashion he was a son he was a brother he was a husband he was a father he was an uncle he was something extremely important to others outside of just what he did in his purpose and I absolutely wish the best for them and you know we'll just just keep people that are dealing with loss in your prayers right now in terms of what he meant to this space now i hate that people make loss black and white that paying respects to someone has to be in black and white also because it's very easy and possible for you to not have been a fan of everything he may have done within sneakers, fashion, but still pay respect to him as a person, first off again, and then just respect what he did to the entire industry itself because you can't deny the legacy that's left behind. You can't deny the tin and how polarizing it was. You can't deny the doors that he opened, the ceilings he truly broke through, and everything that will continue to live on. You can't also deny the impact he had on other designers and peers and you see that lived out whether it's Kanye West, Jerry Lorenzo, Don C, Aleli May, Frank Cooker, all of these people were impacted in a very powerful way by Virgil Abloh's presence and I don't think that can be denied whatsoever so dealing with this loss I just ask you know just be kind, have empathy, uh, be self-aware, there's no need to honestly attack each other people are sharing pictures of shoes or things they remember about Virgil and I think that's awesome there's joy in the small things of sneakers people are probably remembering the joy of when they secured that pair and that's how they're choosing to share and express uh that loss on social media I personally don't see a problem with that now in terms of the resale angle is it tasteless is it disgusting do i hate it i absolutely do is there anything i can do about it no there's not like there's just not that's that's outside of my control that's outside of my power i wish that those who uh wanted to acquire his shoes now to have a piece of art that he created within their possession i wish that was the case it's not necessarily there are people that will simply capitalize and profit from his loss because the shoes will go up again it's tasteless it's classless if there's nothing i can do about it but I know many believe that as well and others will do as they please. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality of sneakers, especially in 2021. So I do hope that everybody processes the loss of Virgil. I hope you're able to celebrate what he brought to the fashion and sneaker industry in itself. And I hope that everything that he put into, again, this space lives on to the next creative, the next black creative to break barriers and do things in their own way. So with that being said, rest in peace, Virgil. And thank you guys for watching the video. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ. And this video won't be long today, but just kind of thinking ahead to uh, next year. I know that's crazy. We're at the end of 2021. So much has happened. Good, bad, again. I think we're all processing a lot through the year of 2021. But just in terms of, I guess, how we're looking at the next year. Uh, financially, that can be a little daunting because, yes, let's just keep it, I guess, within the realm of sneakers. We know that uh, release releases will start to drop for 2022 for all brands. We'll see what Jordan has on the way. We might get a peek at what Nike has on the way. Uh, New Balance and every other brand that, you know, graces our feet, truth be told. But in knowing those releases, uh, keep keep the bigger picture in mind, okay? And what I mean by that, 
maybe take a look back at expenses of how you spent money in 2021. Are there things you would like to change? Are there things you learned about your behavior that you should probably correct and do better about if it really goes against what your ultimate goals may be? Um, in terms of goals that you have or you think you may have in mind, is there a smarter way to go about achieving those? And I think back to the sneaker I paid resale for, right? So again, resale is getting bad. Sometimes it gives you an opportunity to get something just it can be very much so out of reason and that's probably what's going to happen with a lot of off-white sneakers unfortunately uh, being able to acquire a sneaker you want for resale whether you passed on it initially or you just need to reach back for it because you never had the real opportunity to acquire the sneaker I think that's uh, an option. I don't think that's good or bad. I, for me personally, it was a good option, but I think going about it a very in a very pragmatic way so it doesn't really overwhelm you at one specific time. That's why I think a sinking fund is a great idea for those larger ticket items. It could be a sneaker you wanna pay resale for. Again, it could be you buying the entire family uh, a Jordan 11 around the holidays and we see the prices going up, right? 225, 185, and 190 dollars and 70 dollars. These are higher price points for an Air Jordan 11 than what we've ever seen. So keep that in mind. Looking ahead, these are just simple plans you could write down, and that way you have um, some steps. You have a blueprint to execute that throughout the year of 2022. So you can make life easier on yourself, like no matter what. Because all too often we may feel like we need a sneaker in our collection, and then how long does it sit there? for quite a while for a lot of you at least what you've expressed in 2021 life is different people work from home they aren't going as many places perhaps so your sneaker rotation may have decreased which means you know is something a need as much as you may think it is you know process that think it over in your head um also for some living by that release calendar did that cause a lot of emotional strain for you over 20 you know during the year of 2021 i think for some of you it did like Every single time a sneaker came out and it was an L after L after L, that emotionally affected you. Uh, I would say take back some power there. <laughs> just I, I would just like your days to not be ruined when it comes to taking L's, whether it's sneakers app, confirmed app, doesn't matter. Take back that power. Um, yes, that L may suck, but just listen, process it quickly. Make that decision. Will I go after that shoe for resale at a certain point? Make that decision and walk away from it. Or will you just pass on it and maybe not always get a constellation sneaker because if you are somebody that sold off a lot of those constellation sneakers that you purchased over the last two years maybe don't go that route maybe if it wasn't your number one pick maybe just let that sneaker that's other sneakers sit there um that absolutely just kind of went through my mind thinking about 2021 and people that have like top five or top 10 regrets that they purchased maybe bypass those regrets this being the most expensive time of the year, really this holiday stretch of Thanksgiving and moving into Christmas and then New Year's and some people will still travel to see family. So you have travel expenses on top of that. Just listen, set a budget and stay within that. Please don't feel obligated to go outside of it because again, the keeping up with the Joneses is a real thing. Trying to keep up with gifting and just don't put yourself through that. Not to mention also you may just become comfortable with the word no okay tell yourself no tell the kids no tell other people no stick to those boundaries draw the line because only you know financially what's going to work for you and at the end of the day if you try to make it work outside of those lines just because for optics or whatever it may be you're only setting yourself up for failure you're also going to set yourself back before you head into 2022 so there are quite a few drops still on the way for sneakers uh in 2021 i did a video on the ones that I'm still interested in picking up. Again, if I don't get those, it's fine. Quite honestly, I no love lost. If I can't get them, I'm just, I'm not going to cry about it whatsoever. Um, but it's still a very expensive time of the year. So hopefully you planned ahead for the 11th. Hopefully you planned ahead. Like think about it. So if you miss out on the Amaman year one, okay, you know, the next one coming up, don't spend any other money. Just move that Amaman year one money over to the bread patent leather, uh, Jordan one release. If that's on your radar as well. And then if you take an L on that, listen, move it to something else or use it for for something that is more meaningful in life maybe than just the shoe these are just some thoughts of mine okay as we head into this holiday season um yeah I know it's stressful, especially for parents. I really do feel for you guys, but I think we'll all be okay if we just keep things within reason. So I hope you guys just have 
an amazing week. I know it started off rather heavy, um, but I, I think, you know, together, just try to find laughter, joy in the small things. Uh, and listen, everybody just make it through as best as you can. So I thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said earlier, as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.